Hey, hey, what's up? It's Randy. What's going on? And welcome to another episode of my channel. And guess what time it is? It's lunchtime. But more importantly, it's time to eat. <laughs> it's 12 o'clock somewhere. <laughs> oh boy, today I have, I have a good one for you today. Actually, I was going to do something else, but then I kind of brain farted a little bit and I forgot to ask if they have it, but I was going to do the double down, the, but I, I'm going to do a future video on that. Don't worry. I, I, I heard that they're bringing it back and, um, I just, I have, all right, let me, let me get into what I have today. I had a coupons for KFC and here's the, here they are right here. I won't go through all of them, but, uh, they send them in the mail also, but they have, um, uh, let's see. I had two coupons where you could either get a one of the the famous bowls or whatever they're called, the mashed mashed potato bowls, or a pot pie um, for five dollars each. You know, you could choose one, so you could use one coupon. Well, I asked her if I could use the, both the coupons, and she said yes, and um, so I I got both of them. <laughs> So I'm kind of hungry. I didn't really eat much breakfast or anything like that. And um, so basically I am hungry and I'm, I'm not sure if I'll eat it all because it does look like quite a bit of food here actually. Um, but here is the famous bowl. I'm going to take the lid off here. And oh yeah. Wow, that looks good. Okay. I think it's called the Famous Bowl. Yeah, pretty sure. Anyway, it's got chicken, cheese. I don't know if you can see that. I don't want to dip it too far. I don't want it to spill. But um, but it's got the chicken chunks, mashed potatoes, cheese, corn, and their gravy. I love KFC gravy. It's so good. So we got that going. Like there's some kind of commotion going on over here. I'm not sure what it is. All right, now. Oh, oh shit. No problem. No problem. No problem. Okay. <laughs> hey, I had to pause just a second. Had a, a a little bit of an accident, but it actually worked out perfect. Uh, only a little bit spilled, but when I w went to grab the pot pie the bowl is in this plastic bowl and it slid off my tray and it just hit the plastic part of my, uh, or, you know, the uh, vinyl part of my seat or my door here. And a little bit of gravy got on there and like a couple pieces of corn and stuff, but woo, that was a close one. That was a close call. But what I was doing is I was trying to bring out the pot pie here. Here comes in a nice little box little pie box KFC I love their colors the kernel and here we are this is the pot pie Ooh, that sucker's hot Ooh, damn that's really hot okay so what I'm gonna do actually you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it back in the box I think that's gonna be easier and yeah, and you can see, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, show you here. Now I'm hoping that they gave me plenty of napkins, which I think they did. I don't know about plenty, but they gave me some. All right, we're in business. Whew, that was a, that was a close one, but uh, this is kind of some of the obstacles of doing, you know, this this uh food reviews in my little truck you know it takes some talent i'm telling you <laughs> you have to know where everything is and you have to know what's gonna spill and what's not gonna spill oh and by the way i didn't get a soda or anything like that i just used the two coupons five dollars each like i said one for the bowl and one for the pot pie and um so I brought soda from home. Now this is Diet Pepsi. They have all the Pepsis with just looks like a regular Pepsi, 
but I guess the blue can is the regular Pepsi, the silver can is the Diet Pepsi, and the black can is the Pepsi Zero. All right, so what, what I'm gonna do here is uh, show you the pie with, I took it out, but I think it's better to leave it in. But look at that sucker, man. This this thing, I probably could have got by with just one of these probably. But I wanted to try both of them. I know I've tried the bowls before. And um, I've definitely tried. And, and, and I think at some point I tried the pie, probably the, the pot pie. But um, I definitely wanted to try them both again. And I just love the KFC chicken. And I've always loved their mashed potatoes. And I love their gravy, the mashed potatoes and gravy and, you know, the corn and it's, you know, ex, you know, that's pretty cool. And, um, you know, I'm not hundred percent sure what, uh, on the pie itself, but, um, we'll dig into that in a minute, but what we're going to do. Yeah. There was some kind of commotion up there. I'm not sure what's going on. Always something going on. All right. So I'm going to take a little bite of this thing here out of the bowl with some potatoes and the chicken. Ooh, it's got a lot of cheese. The cheese pull on it's pretty good, actually. It must be like mozzarella. Mmm, mmm, man. Man, that's good. I'm so glad that didn't spill. Just a minor cleanup. Got lucky on that one. But love the, the potatoes and gravy. Mm. That is very good. One thing KFC used to have too, and I noticed that they didn't have it anymore. I was checking online last night, and that's another reason why I didn't do the double down because on <clears throat> online it says it wasn't on their menu. And when I went through today, I just had it in my mind that I was gonna get these. So um, I just ended up getting these and I forgot to even look for the double down. So I didn't know if it was on their menu or maybe it's something you can order and they'll make it for you. But next time I'll have to do it next time. But that was really my first intention uh, originally when I first thought about it. And then I, then I noticed that it was uh, a lot of people were saying that it's not on the menu anymore. Um, so I just kind of forgot about it and, you know, looked at the coupons and, and saw that they had these. But this is actually quite a bit of food here. You know, I uh, I definitely can eat it, but it is a good value. But what I paid was 10, 10 uh, with the tax and everything, 1078. And I got one of each. So really, if um, honestly, if you're just kind of out and about and you just need a, a, a lunch that's going to fill you up pretty good, I would 100% say that this bowl, this bowl will fill you up pretty good just by getting that and i think they said that the combo was um 7.99 and that comes with the drink and then also um i think they line it with some fries and that's the other thing i was going to say is they they changed their fries kfc has changed their fries which uh to me is crazy because they had the best fries they had the potato wedges and they always had a really good flavor and, um, but now they've changed them to, uh, uh, just a regular fry, I guess. Um, at least at this location or lo the ones that I was searching out last night, um, it looks like the, the potato wedges are no longer a thing anymore, which I was kind of bummed about because those, that was like one of the greatest things about KFC is their, their seasoned potato wedges, man, those things were so good. I remember, I don't know if you guys remember Shakey's pizza. But that's the first time I ever tried the, I think they call them like Mojo potatoes or or, um, or Jojo potatoes or whatever. But anyway, they in their lunch buffet and their, they had a, a dinner buffet also, Shakey's, um, they'd always have um, a few like appetizers and, and sides and stuff. I think you could get a little spaghetti and, and, um, and the potatoes and stuff like that. And then the salad bar and all that. But, um, you, um, I remember those, those potatoes were just so good, man. I, I, I would eat mostly those, you know, and, and the pizza too, you know, I'd, I'd love the pizza, but, but man, it was, uh, pretty crazy, uh, to think, you know, I, when I went through, uh, or when I saw last night online, I was like, 
man, they don't even have the potato wedges anymore. Man, that's kind of weird. But anyway, let me uh, let me get another bite here. Might not be able to finish both of these uh, in the time of the video here. Uh, mm. <laughs> See if I can get a good a good thumbnail. I don't know if you can see the thing. <laughs> anyway, thanks for bearing with me on that one. <laughs> yeah, this school car is over here. Just kind of just pulled in real quick. I don't know if there was some issue with the the students, I think they're all getting out of school right now, but there, I think there was some some issue with the, the students or something. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, I'm going to take one more bite of this. Man, this chicken is so good. Yeah, this this thing is actually is fills you up pretty good. First beer of the day. No, just kidding. It's uh, it's Diet Pepsi. Ah, uh, had a little uh, tickle in my throat. <laughs> but anyway, I'm trying to take another bite of this. The cheese is really like grippy. <laughs> it's like it must be like mozzarella or something. But here we go. Mm-hmm. All right. It's basic. It's delicious. It's like something you'd make at home, you know. Chop up some chicken, put it in the air fryer, make some instant mashed potatoes and a little gravy. You know, it's just kind of a kind of a homemade type of thing, which is kind of cool that they sell that here. All right, now I'm, I'm digging into the. Uh, I think I showed you the pie pretty 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 good. Yeah, let me let me just make sure you got you guys got to look at the pie here already stuck the fork in but there's a better picture of it right there okay now what I'm gonna do oh I love this crust man this is really like flaky so now we're gonna take a bite of this Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. that's hot <laughs> that is hot Yeah, they didn't really give me too many napkins. Kind of a bummer. I think I'm good though. Wow, that tastes really good. It's got um, carrots, chicken, um, the sauce, and um, I don't see any peas. A lot of times they have peas in there, like sweet peas. Oh yeah, there's, there's a couple in there. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if you can see that or not. We got a few sweet peas and carrots I'll put the carrot on there yeah and then kind of uh, stringy chicken mmm takes me back <laughs> I don't know if they're real fond memories but I guess they kind of were but back when my family <laughs> we would make the uh, you could always get the pot pies at the grocery stores for like hella cheap, you know, and, and a lot of times, you know, we would have to buy the cheaper stuff and uh, you just never knew what was <laughs> what was in it. I think some comedian has a joke about something about the the lips, the, the chicken lips being in the in the pot pie or something like that. But ever since I heard that, I, I always kind of remember that back when we were younger. But uh, my mom would cook you know, a bunch of them on a, on a baking tray and, you know, you know, four or five of them, I guess, you know, one for each of us, you know, and, and back then, you know, one was good enough to, to eat, but they were super cheap. I remember them being like really, really cheap, like 30 cents or 50 cents or something like that, really cheap. And they probably still are, you know, I don't know. Uh, I haven't bought them in a while, 
but this this definitely reminds me of that it has the same kind of flavor but um it's definitely um quality you know it's, it's definitely real quality chicken and stuff mm. and i just love the crust too man it's real flaky and um it's got a good flavor to it Mm -hmm. when i got out i leaned my seat back farther i think i feel like i'm back farther but we're good uh let me see if i can break off some of this crust oh it, it just kind of flakes away that's all right this is a little messier than i thought it would be but look at that Ooh, chicken pot pie mm-hmm I've always really liked them. Even back when I was younger, I always thought it was good. But then, you know, I heard that comedian say that and and I thought back and I remember kind of, even I, to this, you know, I can kind of even remember, you know, maybe picking out some stuff <laughs> that, you know, maybe shouldn't have been in there or something that was kind of gristly or whatever, you know, I kind of remember that a little bit, but you know who else has good uh, chicken pot pies? And I've had them before, but it's been a while. Is uh, I want to say it's like Marie Calendars. I think they have really good pies. I think that's the place that I'm thinking of. Yeah, Marie Calendars. They also have really good uh, sweet pies too. You know, like apple pie, cherry pie, a bunch of bunch of pies. But uh, I think they're they're kind of known for their uh, chicken pot pies also. Mm hmm. Wow. So good. Yeah, well, definitely the be between the two of these, I'm going to be pretty stuffed, actually, honestly. So really getting by <clears throat> with one of them would have been fine. And most people, you know, would probably just get one of these. Um, I tend to eat a little bit more. I'm bigger. You know, I, I, I can handle a little more food. But, um, um, but yeah, it, the average person, you know, probably would um, definitely be satisfied with... Um, one or the other of these here. I'm going to go for another. Look at that big chicken chunk there. Woohoo! And there's a bunch of them in there too. I still got like three or four more. Mmm. Mmm. Thought I got it in my shirt. But, yeah. So good. Well, I definitely wanted to try both of these. <clears throat> and they're both delicious. Mmm. Really good flavor on both. Um, brought my own soda. But yeah, I think that's going to do it. I think I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to stop the video and go ahead and finish this up in a minute because I think it would take too long for me to eat the rest of this. But I just wanted to kind of uh, give you an idea of some of the other coupons. Like even KFC has some pretty good deals. And I think even on like Wednesday, they have like $5 country fried steak meal. You know, it comes with like corn and and mashed potatoes and gravy and and the country fried steak with the gravy and stuff like that and that's actually really good um i remember having that uh before and and i haven't had it in a while but i do recall seeing on the uh commercials that they have that for like a like right five dollar range price you know on i think it's wednesdays or tuesdays or something like that <clears throat> but anyway um yeah i got just to kind of recap here i got the uh chicken pot pie on a coupon it was five dollars and i also got the famous bowl on a coupon for five dollars so this total was 1078 or whatever it was with tax not bad if you're super hungry which i am you know i'm gonna finish this up in a minute but um 
Uh, probably one of one or the other would be good for the average person. You know, definitely, you know, especially if it's just kind of like a quick lunch, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, being in the bowl too, it's it's kind of easy to eat in the car. I don't know if it would be easy driving, but it is kind of easy to eat in the car. So that's kind of cool. And then same with the, the pot pie too. The the crust kind of flakes a little bit, but uh, as long as you keep it in the box, it's not too messy really. But all right. Well, uh, I think that's going to do it for today. I just wanted to thank you so much for hanging out with me on my lunch here. And uh, let's see, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you could and give the video a thumbs up and check out some of my other videos too. I, I've done, um, actually I did some filming locations in Sacramento. They're filming a brand new movie in Sacramento, Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, I went over this a little bit in my last vlog but it was uh, Regina Hall, uh, Tiana Taylor, and Sean Penn. All four of those are uh, going to be in the movie. And it was, uh, uh, what I forget the name of the guy that uh, uh, the, the director did Boogie Nights, Paul Thomas Anderson, I think. I hope I got that right. Uh, good director. You know, he did Boogie Nights. He did Magnolia. He did uh, um, one of my, a, a really good uh, movie that I, I really like is called... Uh, there will be blood very good movie if you haven't seen that check that out but he's the director so he really uh he's a uh, pretty well-known director um and uh i think he's even married to maya rudolph from saturday night live i think they have kids together stuff like that but anyway um anyway the, all the it's pretty pretty big budget it seems like and it's based in the it's called based off a novel called uh, Vin, vineland and uh by thomas pension I believe if I'm remembering that, remember that, but check out my other video too. I kind of go over this a little bit more. I'm not sure if I go over the names or not, but, um, but yeah, it's based kind of in the early eighties during the Reagan era, you know, the, the war on drugs. So, uh, I'm not sure. I think it kind of goes back and forth from like modern day to back then. Uh, cause I remember when I was down there filming some of the, uh, I got some pretty good shots on my short reels. Check those out. Uh, got some pretty good shots of the of the scene that they were filming that day, and also I saw this big tractor trailer with all these old cars, these '80s uh, cars like uh, '80s Blazer, Ford Broncos, uh, Ford Tempos, like early 1980s cars, and uh, they were all stacked on this car. So there's definitely part. And then when we walked back, they were all unloaded so they were using those cars for the movie which was pretty cool but anyway um kind of off the subject a little bit but anyway check out the K kfc check out the coupons always a good deal seems like you know late lately a lot of the companies have been giving pretty good deals on their coupons and stuff like that but uh yeah thanks thanks again for watching uh yeah until next time we'll see you soon thanks for watching see ya